Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around if I came by. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. <coughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. So what, free cigarette isn't good enough for you? Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... So let's Go ahead. see. It might work. Crane wasn't the murderer. The open arms was a setup. And you sent me there. Was there someone else you wanted me to find there? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. I don't think no matter what you say... Sometimes... You but we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Is this making any sense? Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter, and I, I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know... I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. Yeah, it's pretty tough I'm trying to break that spell. Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Well, at least you got there to that part. How do we get rid of the ribbon? That spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? She won't go to tell me. Is there something I can do about it? No! These lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! You can't do that! Slow down. It's alright. I wasn't doing anything. not gonna do anything. Please. Don't. Whew. 
Okay. I get it. So the ribbons... If you take them off... Well, I guess I'll try and comfort her. I mean, why wouldn't I? Uh-oh. If anyone finds out I came here... That's probably Snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of... trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. Please. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank These you. lips are sealed, babe. <laughs> Uh-oh. Snow's all jealous. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Uh, wait, you don't have to go. What was all that about? That was... abrupt. It's one way to send a message. She wants me to go, obviously. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then. Good work. So, She's about Beauty about and Beast, friends, yeah. do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? That's what Nerissa was doing, telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Duh. Hmm. She friggin' told us to go. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. We already know she's the Crooked what? Man. That was from the I first have episode. other matters to attend to. No, it was the second one, I think, actually. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into With either. good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when knock, knock. Going to... Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it Beauty? Why would I call you? Snow said you both called. Listen, I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Are you gonna let me in or what? It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. All right, time to sneak around their house now. Mm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What I know what the electric bill is for that thing. Into this. Beast, 
I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. Mm. It was Talk about living in the past. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're no out secrets. of money and answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this. I'm like about to break it. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. Well, what kind of trouble are you in? Either it's the money, or it's something else. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us. We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that Crooked Bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Woe is us, we're not rich. Let's get money so that we can act rich. Hi there, you've reached beauty. And sure. beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we can't come to can the phone finish right this conversation now, so first? I should get that, we'll get come back on. To you as soon as... <laughs> <laughs> Humanly possible. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. <laughs> I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. The crooked man's gonna get his ah, one way this. or another. Shit. Should have answered the phone earlier. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. You had enough on your plate. Who gets loans at a pawn shop anyway? What's really going on at this place? The crooked man knows what people need to get by, so he provides. Besides, it didn't seem like such a bad deal when Jersey Devil was explaining it. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes, fables just don't have anywhere else to go. What the hell are you doing hanging out at a place like the Lucky Pawn anyway? Sometimes fables sell things they brought from the homelands. Things you can't find anywhere else. You 
do know there's a difference between pawning something and selling it, don't you? I... I know that. You're buying a piece of someone else's misery. With money you don't have. Well, that's over now. Maybe if you go there you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the lucky pawn. If I can't track down the crooked man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the Crooked Man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. We're decent people, Bigby. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the Crooked Man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. Who's gonna tell me? Fuck, fuck off. There are a lot of fables who have it a lot worse off than you. Or me, for that matter. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Well, the operator of both the Lucky Pawn and the butcher shop. Lucky Pond's probably the best place to find a tie to the Crooked Man, so let's go there. I'm going to the Lucky Pond. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I don't go around fixing debts. Lucky for you, what I am going to do might just fix it anyway. Just keep us in mind, please. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Man, you two can just go fuck off. They're like white privileged pricks. <laughs> 